Minnesota State Trooper appeared in court today to face charges for shooting and killing a man last July. Trooper Ryan Londergren shot 33-year-old Ricky Cobb II during a traffic stop on I-94 in Minneapolis. Londergren opened fire after Cobb refused to get out of his vehicle and began driving away. Last week, the Hennepin County Attorney charged Londergren with second-degree unintentional murder and other charges. John Lorson has the latest today from court. Before Trooper Ryan Londrigan even entered the public safety facility, about 100 law enforcement officers stood outside to show their support. No justice! They, along with friends and family of Ricky Cobb, then filled the courtroom. During a five-minute proceeding, Londrigan and his attorneys agreed that he would make court appearances, not carry any firearms, and not have any contact with Cobb's family or witnesses. He was also asked to turn over his passport. I really want to thank everybody for showing up here for this great showing of support for Trooper Ryan. And it means the world not only to the Londrigans, but Mr. Wold and myself. After the court appearance, Londrigan stood outside with his wife and officers. His attorney, Chris Mantle, questioned Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty's decision to charge the trooper without first consulting with a use of force expert, something he says she originally agreed to do. Standing behind me is about 100 different current and former police officers. Here's a bunch of use of force experts. All she needs to do is email me and I'll hook her up with one. During a press conference last week, Moriarty said the charges came down to training and that officers are not allowed to shoot at a person or vehicle that's driving away. As Laundergan's supporters left, friends and family of Ricky Cobb shouted at officers. Say his name! In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO News. An attorney for Cobb's family released a statement today in regards to the body camera video saying no one tried to de-escalate the situation. No one tried to protect his life. Trooper Londrigan pulled the trigger, but he's not the only one responsible for Ricky Cobb's death. Londrigan is also charged with manslaughter and assault. His next court appearance is scheduled for April 29th.